So I'm welcome to the video and today I'm going to show you which mice I have, they're all laid behind me. The only place I can load it out is on my island in my kitchen. So I'm going to go through them all, we'll talk over which ones I've got and I'll show you what my collection's like. So let's get on with it. Start with some of the easy ones, we've got a Boardsy Special. And we've got a modded Starlight 12. Model 02 Wireless. AJ199. Do some reviews on these as well. Got the Dragonfly. Like this mouse, but there's a problem with it. I'll let you know what that is in my review. M800. A 3395 version. The Lamzu here. 4K. The Ponage Stormbreaker with the uh, glides taken off, the glide protection. Didn't realize they are clear, so watch out if you do get that. Extra Fry M8 stock. Final Mouse Phantom. Has been slightly modded, some new switches and skates. Death Adder, this is the V3 one, which has been modded. Nice and light now. Dusty. G Pro Super Light modded. Fanatic XD7 stock, still in its box. I'll take it out though, I think. So Fanatic XD7, brand spanker, not modded. Pool Slight XT. Nice and stock. I do like the uh, colours on this. Not coming up very well on my camera because the light's a little bit glowy from the window. Rokat Comb Pure Air, brand new, untouched. Still got its glide to play texture on. Got the Vancer. I love this combo. Tim looks cool, man. The Rocat Cone Pure Ultra, the Viper Mini, modded within an inch of its life. Got another Vancer, brand new untouched. A cool combo there, need to look at this one actually, not tried it yet. It's an interesting one. Test that on stream. Brand new Cobra Pro. Untucked. I believe it's going to take quite a while. This is going to take forever. There's going to be a massive amount of mice here. You know what, Kit Kat? Shoot. Ah, I think it's. <laughs> Got the Zowie ECW or EC3CW. As we expect. A lot of free travel. Okay, Zowie. Tenzi Final Mouse. Stuck. Modded 502X. RGB. A stock Viper 8K. M3 Doom Shark. I think it's a Dome Dome Shark. It's quite a good mouse. Good day replacement for the larger final mice. Uh, brand new Super Light in Red. Brand new ZA13B from Zowie. Still boxed. Okay, so the, the Shroud G303. I'm not a fan of this one. I don't like the shape at all, but. Shrouds after all. We've got a modded G Pro wired. If you want any of these, let me know. Check me out on shop.billybob.com. We've got a modded 502. There's not much left of it. The left and right still work. This has been taken to the extreme. Oops, slight damage. Look at that puppy. That's what's fine, I'm taking 502. ECT white limited edition one. Or special edition. Yep, never used. 
like the uh, gloss coating to look at, but they're not great to use. Beautiful. The Zowie EC1 in black this time. So Zowie EC1 brand spanker. G502 SE Hero. Still brand new. Totally stuck. Quite the look of this 502. With all the uh, accents on it. Still fucking brick. I just got a cable. Myra M brand new still. It's like a violet one, Palmer violet looking one. No. We've got a modded MZ1, but I think it's probably just a shell looking at it. <laughs> that I'll put numbers out of that. I think it's for spares. It's a brand new glorious model D. Some a different limited edition G Pro wireless. Pink. Untouched. Brand new ducky feather. Untouched. It's a ducky feather, brand new. I'll be giving some of these away on stream on my Friday giveaways. You can see brand new ducky. Quite a shape, but a bit of a clone. Brand new Shroud G Pro wireless. This thing does look good, this G Pro wireless from Shroud. Probably one of the best looking G Pros, I reckon. Nice. Got here the Ponage Ultra Light Custom. We've got the Steel Series Rival 600 there. What a tank. Stock Final Mouse Achilles. Aerox 3 brand new. No idea where I got this from. Hex Gears M105. Just I'm just testing this stuff out. Oh my days, look at that. The end game is right there. <laughs> Bit of PPM. Realize I've not even built it yet. Apologies, I will out. It's the Ultronic 2 in game gear XM2, but it has been modded. Nice. This one from uh, Leonardo the Mouse that you made me Viper Ultimate originally. Seems cool, as. Bad boy. Can't even see if his light sucks. Apologies. Not bad. We're rocking the Pulsar Bruce Lee version. Black and yellow. I like this combo. This thing is nice, man. Version of model number 05. Nice. Look at the Fanatic bolt here. Yes. We've got a brand new Viper V2 Pro, unopened. I think someone's got to go through and work out <laughs> how much these mice are worth. But don't tell me, because I'll probably pass out. Here you go, brand new. And then we have the Death Adder V3 modded as well. Nice. You know where that film mate. Got this beautiful thing, the Atlantis Mini. I love this thing. Got glass skates in it as well. This thing's amazing. Probably my top mouse of the year so far. And we've got a stock, it's got dirty skates for some reason. A stock 4K Haiti Plus or S Plus from G Wolves. Pretty nice mouse as well. Not a fan of the clicks, but overall nice. And we've got the MZ1 Wireless stock. Obviously, you look at the skates. Nice. This is the ultralight G305 modded. Brand new Zowie S2. This thing is brand spanker.
a Jazz i305. People wanted to look at this one. Meant to. Never get around to it. This thing feels heavy, man. Holy moly. Whoa. So the a Jazz i305. The next version feels a lot better. 199. Hmm. Working the extra fight M42. I personally like this mouse. I probably main it as well. It's a very nice mouse. Working here the Phantom Mouse Hades as well. I love this combo. By far one of the better ones. Stock. Pulsar limited edition green. Mind with the army colour. This combo of colours is amazing. I love that combo. Then we've got the Ponage Ultra Custom Ambi version, which is quite nice. Test this on stream. Brand new Master MX. This thing is humongous, but I do like the infinity scrolls on these when you can turn them on. It's not mag magnetically on. It's good if you're uh, doing a lot of media stuff. Bit of a tank though. We've got the Ninjitsu Sora. This is modded. Got this down to 29 grams. This is a pretty good mouse to be fair. I like the shape of this as well. Side buttons are a little bit flimsy, but overall a nice mouse from Ninjitsu there. Definitely worth checking out. This one, this is a Fanatic Flick 2. Never used it. Kind of like the look of it. Bit of a different shape to be fair. I like the skates are a bit weird. I mean, it definitely needs better skates, but Hmm, interesting. Wired, unfortunately, but yeah, maybe we should try that. One of the worst mice I've ever had problems taking apart, the Aerox 9 from Wired. Still say it's probably the lightest MMO around in the box, but certainly not a light mouse in general. But yeah, different. Always got the same crappy side. But there's all the other mice as well. And we've got the M2K, fully carbon, gloss version. This thing is nice. Oh, those clicks from the uh, Owen Japans are outstanding. This thing's a beast of a fingertip mouse. We've got a Zowie FK2. It's a little bit beaten up, as you can see. We've got the Vance Gretex, is it? Gretex. I like this combo. Brand Spanker. Very nice. Next up, Glorious Model D Wireless. Probably brand new. Doesn't look like it's been modded. We've got the 4K Plus Haiti modded here. Battery's in a bit of a weird position, but yeah, that's nice. Beast. Gun case Pulsar. Love this case. Another Bruce Lee limited one. Look at that thing. Would you prefer the yellow? More yellow or more black? Number six, I think is nice, man. Final Mouse Last Legend. Offset scroll wheel, brilliant. Missing one skate, so I must have done something to it maybe, but yeah, nice. Classic M518 from Logitech, brand new. This puppy, this MX518 is factory fresh. Look at it, old school, this thing. <laughs> There's the Rocat Kane 202 Amio, brand spanking new. Quite a good build quality. Feels solid that mouse, I'll give it that. Oh, that's coping as well, actually. Brand new Extra Fi M4 RGB and Retro. This colour scheme's badass, man. Do you think that was a bit of Extra Fi M4 Retro? Brand spanker. Do you think that was a bit annoying as they released the wireless version pretty quickly after these? Bit annoying if you just went and bought one. If we're rocking the Microsoft Classic Intelli. This thing's brand new. What a shape this is. If you've got big hands, this is a beautiful palm. Ergo mouse. Nice. Then we're rocking four brand new BM600 cheap mice that I looked at to try and see what they were like. Never tried them. It's like a Model O cologne maybe. Or Viper actually. It's like a Razor Viper clone, look at it. Probably should have tested it. I need to do some budget mice chat tests, don't know. Do you want me to show you which ones are the best ones? 
Look at that. Pink one. Rocking the classic Corsair Harpoon. Still unused. I don't know. It's got a weird connector for things. Like it's wired, but it's not. It's actually a wireless this Harpoon. Another uh, Corsair's recent mouse. It's been not bad. A bit weird. Rocking a brand new A900. <laughs> no idea what this is. This is like the ultimate unboxing, isn't it? Here we are, A900. What the hell's that? Oh my days. It's like the dude from Valorant, little spy guy. Got his name. That's got quite a nice coating. What the hell's that button? No. Yeah. Very tactile coating. Oh my god, the side buttons are not good though. Interesting. No idea what that is. I would have bought that. Brand new Star Wars, totally dust, look at that. Star Wars Athenius wireless one. Stormtrooper one, this thing's pretty cool. <laughs> look at that. Pretty cool, it's a lot of travel mouse. Look how thin those side buttons are. Damn, son. Oh, they feel horrible. I don't know what this mouse was that Rays were thinking about. This is, this is rough. <laughs> We've got the uh, fully carbon MZ1. With the custom base in this one. Oh, Japanese almonds one. They still feel so good. Brand new 302. Slightly narrower than the 303. Really small side button. Good old Logitech. Horrible feet. They're even peeling up. <laughs> Next is Weevil. So the Nexus Revel, Ravel, Ravel, Revel, MW17. Reminds me of a DM3. Dream Mouse, they almost have copied each other. Those are all very similar. This box is a statement. Look at this, SP80. Look at the side of the box. Oh, what a weird coating. There you go. The SP80 from Blood. The Edge 101. It's an run 50 mil. Oh dear. Look how stiff that cable is. <laughs> oh my god, it's got a metal base. What the hell? They got metal skates. Well, I've never seen that in my life. Look at that weird bun. Look at it. It's got one on each side. What the hell? Well, they feel horrible, those side buttons. What is this thing? The OG, look at this, this is hard to find. Look how dirty it is, there's a bit of tape on it. The original Intelli Optical. <laughs> look at it. So, Cooler Master, Master S. Good little mouse, but, needs a few little tweaks, but probably one of Cooler Master's better ones. So, Brand new Pulsar V2X Lite. These things are nice. The V2 ones are. Side ones could be a little bit better, but overall, hell of an ergo mouse. For some reason, I got two 203s. Don't know why. Both brand new. It's a wide 305, pretty much. Classic. Wouldn't feel the same without a modded EC1. Power corded, weight reduction. Say, so if you want any of these ones, give me a shout. Shop.biddybob.com. Already, a brand spanking Stardust G Wolf. Twenty nineteen, this one. Nice. So looking at a Razer Mamba Elite, brand new. Thought it'd be wireless, but interesting. It's not. A Razer Copperhead, a bit sure it is. Yeah, but it's going sticky because of the, look at that. Because of the uh, plastics eroding and how dusty it is, look at that. Old school man, I used to love this mouse. But the side buttons on it though. Brand new M65 RGB Elite from Corsair. Used to like this mouse back in the day, before weight was a thing. And this thing is built like a tank, look at this M65 RGB. Metal base, <laughs> no weight. Well, it's not a problem in this, but the little build quality is pretty decent. 
It's just an absolute beast. I quite like the shape of this though. What a mouse. Rocking the Death Adder Elite. Probably want to raise better mice when they were on form, I would say. The new ones are a bit pants, but nice mouse. Rocking here a Deluxe M625. Brand Smacker, 33.60 sensor. Weird button on the front. Interesting design. Absolutely horrible side buttons. Rockin' here is Sharkoon Light 200. Basically the same as the Ponage. It's the wide version of the Ultra Custom. Use the same OEM stuff. Interesting. Got here a Razor Viper Ultimate. Which is one of the very, very early ones. A bit dusty. <laughs> cool box from G-Wolves. So G-Wolf used to give you good packaging. It's a G-Wolf Skull. A good mouse. Side buttons were a little bit narrow, but overall decent. It's been opening obviously because the skate's coming up. Definitely need better skates. It's the Air Ninja 58. Quite a rare mouse now. Did have a scroll wheel issue. Still got the horrible side buttons. Brand new DM3 Mini, not even opened. So the Dream Machine DM3 Mini, look at that. It's quite a nice shape to be fair. No side buttons though, it's unusual. Always like the coating on the Dream Machines. It's like a furry one, not bad. The Rabbit Quadruclick. Skates are peeling off. <laughs> but you push here instead. It's just the back of your finger. Not the front, not a bad design. Interesting. You can see a bit of uh, innovation in the market. G Wolf Skull Mini. Pretty cool little mouse. Really lightweight, actually, now you feel it. Here it is the Nobles M5. Sorry, the Nobles N5. Look at the skates. Really bad skate decisions back then. Pretty solid mouse to be fair, quite long. It's got big hands, maybe we're trying to get one of these. Definitely is a power glove. G Wolf's Haiti. So they're looking good, remember the dual skate? I feel like what uh, Glorious tried to copy, I think. Still horrible skates, but some nice clicks on that to be fair. This is a blast from the past. Piranha's original or PPM's original G305 that he sent me. Look at it. His work's come on a long way since then. That's what it looks like. That's his original one. The Kane Ami 100 there. Wide version. Bit of a tank, still brand new. Different. Got the Wazzle Owl. Check out this bad boy. Needs to be tested. Interesting skates. I'm not sure like where they cut away a bit, but a bit different. Looks very chunky, the skates. Nice. Gonna raise a Viper stock one for the 8K, the OG one. G Pro Super Light. Looks like it's had new skates. That's a good one. Razor's Diamondback. That's a modded Pulsar. Probably butchered a little bit. Pulsar uh, X Light. Microsoft Comfort Optical 300. One side button. Damn. Bit rough. Which one's sent me that actually? Modded Zari EC3 maybe? Can't tell. Got the Vaxi wireless been modded. And a Rock and Steel Series Prime wireless. The uh, Rival Wired modded. I'm mean, next to know we're actually burnt through the back of it if you remember on stream. Oopsie daisy. People always ask me about this one, the Cooler Master M720. I think it's good mouse apart from the side switch, is actually whole. But with nice shape, I quite like the way your hand sits in it. Another Aerox 3, a bit dusty, it's easily been around. A mini HSK Pro, is it? 4K one. Super light modded, this thing's a beast. Tiny as. Baby version, a little bit more solid this version. HSK Plus. 
There's a glorious Model O OG though, a bit of a combo between the white base and black base where I've swapped it. Quite like it. There we go, Rat 8 Plus. Things that tank. Grim. Look how complicated this is. Mad cats, crazy. Is it gaming meta? I think it is. There we go. Not bad. MZ1 wired, and then they released the wireless again just to annoy everybody. Pretty much straight after it, near enough. Extrify M4 wireless. Nice. One of the better goes around, I would say. Extrify, pretty good mice. The Game Vision Orbit. This is nice. Copy of the 305, a little bit lighter weight. Mrs. Claim she still didn't drop nail varnish on it. I'm pretty sure he did, love. I think we're rocking the, I think it's a HK Plus, HK Plus before the uh, Pro came out, 4K one. Model took as much weight as we possibly could. <laughs> Another Model O, some uh, grip tape on it, my sound with Lizard, I think. And a um, combo of black and white again, it's a matte version. Brand new Model O wireless. Big brother to Pulsar, set the standard version. Cooler Master M710, that looks like. Being weight reduced. <laughs> Probably the roughest <laughs> super light I've seen, you know what I've done to it. It's got glass feet though. Have a look at like some of the uh, prototypes. From LG, LLG, I think. Interesting. The M1 Tofu. It's M4 tofu, totally modded, super like that. I think it's like 25 grams or 28 grams, something. Death Adder V2. It's pretty much brand new. Here's a Pulsar um, early edition, special edition one. Glass skates, definitely the early version because you increase the size of that logo. Uh, Endgame Gear XM1R. Forest, they're cutting up. Bit of weight reduction on it. Pulsar X Lite, it's a V1, I'd say. Oh, it's a V2 because of the size. Anyway, extra light, I think it's a V2. Got the uh, Stardust open source Haiti from G Wolves. Quite nice knives as well. I introduce you to the Rat 1 from Mad Game. Mad Gaming Game, is it? No, Mad Cats. Look at it, they were all well over the lightweight mouse early on, Mad Cats. This is quite old, this mouse. Look at the colour combos, it's sick. I used to love Mad Cats. There's one made people probably haven't seen, the Mini Death Adder. It's been power corded. Steel Series Sensei 10. Lost its skates. I don't know what I've done to it, but someone was asking me the other day if any of the mice got side ones on the left. Sensei 10 does. Just realised. Here's the original M65 Corsair. Pulsar. Mini in red, X2. Love it, special edition. This thing looks badass, doesn't it? Don't disrespect these ones. We've also got the medium, V1, exactly the same. This is the one I tried. I love this mouse. Finishing up with Pulsars, <laughs> X2, clear. This thing is outrageously good. Look at it, I love it. Love it. So this is the more lined out now. 183. I've definitely got more than this, but I can't find them. You see them all now. All different lodges. It's a lot. A few carcasses, so maybe 180 total. This one's missing a scroll wheel. And butchered. But yeah, plenty of hair. Nice. <laughs> okay, so what happened is I looked further and I was messing around another room and I found some more mice. I thought I had some more. So other ones I had are now away. But that's about 183. So here's the additional mice that I uh well forgot to include. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a Basilisk V3, brand spanker. 
Brand spanking new end game gear XM1 RGB. What's up, kitty cat? Brand new RGB XM1. Very nice. We've also got a black dark reflex XM1 R as well. Brand new. Nice. We found a dusty ROG Karakaram core, is it? Little joystick on it. We've got a Blue Extra Fi M4 RGB. Nice shape, wide version, this one. We've also got a Rocat Burst Pro. Seems quite nice, I quite liked it. And Rocat. We've got a PPM or old school Piranha here. Yeah, looks like an Ultralight 2 shape. G305 mod. We've got brand new, absolutely dusty anything. Corsair Iron Claw RGB, never open. So here's the Corsair Iron Claw RGB, brand new. What a beast this thing is. Holy moly. Look at the size of it. Gigantic. Brand new Viper, never touched. Another Viper unboxed. Brand new Outset AX. My days, a Basilisk Ultimate unopened. There is Logitech MX Master. Another one, unopened, brand new. Another 502 Hero, unopened. A Logitech M705, unopened. And there's another one I've been trying to find. Steel Series Rival Wireless. Just trying to find that Rival 3. Yes. Unopened. M1 e Sport Mouse. M1 e Sport Mouse. This is a copy of the Modelo. I mean, that looks almost identical there on the top. Look at it. Probably got the worst side buttons I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> There's another one. I'll look at some budget stuff. Wireless RGB charging mouse. Don't know that some Chinese name, don't know. Need to show you some of these clones. Again, Model O wireless this time. It's very similar, look at that. It's got the same skate pattern. Absolutely disgusting side run to it. Not bad as a clone, really. Pretty, uh, pretty nuts how good that is. GM41 from MSI. Unopened. There you go. MSI, clutch, oh, this is what this one was. Comes with a little dock as well. Got the skates on it. It's pretty long, that. I feel too bad, side buttons aren't the best, but okay. Well, right, look at that one, need to review that one. Brand new G502 light speed. Brand new 502X as well. Brand new Viper V2 Pro. These all to give away on Friday, so plenty of these. A pink G Pro Super Light. It's got core pads on it. Airs, nice. A custom one from Nacho Customs. Old Vancer. Nice paint job. Lovely. And then a Model I. Glorious as well. I think it's been weight reduced. Nice. So this is it. We've got a few here then, a few extra ones. We've got there two. I'm 26, which means I've got a grand total of just over 200 mice. Holy moly. <laughs> that is insane. Insane, Bob.